As an administrator, you may want uh, an automated method of, of uh, enabling multi-factor authentication for your end users. So I'm going to show you a couple of options that are available. The first option is going to be using uh, a new feature that's available in Office 365 uh, called Security Defaults. So to get there, we're going to go to portal.azure.com. And the easiest way to find things in here is to just search for it. So we're going to search for Azure Active Directory. And here we're going to go to Properties. And then at the bottom of the screen, there's this little link for Manage Security Defaults. Enabling Security Defaults enables a number of features that help improve the uh, identity and security of your users in Office 365. Um, there is an entire list of features that get enabled and we'll provide a link in at the, at the bottom of this video, somewhere near this video, somewhere down there. Um, there's going to be links uh, and we will provide a link of all of the things that get enabled, such as multi-factor authentication, uh, such as blocking legacy authentication, uh, protecting privileged actions such as uh, accessing your account via PowerShell. It also uh, forces users that are using multi-factor authentication to only use the Microsoft Authenticator app uh, for providing that, that uh, MFA token. Um, so it's a very, very useful feature. And as you can see, it's very easy to enable. The only drawback to this method would be uh, if you're an organization that has uh, any service accounts, uh, then you probably would not want to enable this. Uh, or if you have um, a, uh, a broken glass account that you use in 365 so that you have emergency access to your tenant, um, those types of accounts uh, you probably would not want to enforce multi-factor authentication on them because they may not be able to provide that multi-factor token. Um, so for, for larger organizations, we recommend using one of the other methods. Uh, uh, but if you aren't in that situation, if you don't use service accounts and uh, you're not concerned about having uh, that broken glass account, then enabling this feature is by far the easiest way to, uh, to enable a whole number of these features uh, to help protect your users.